Hello Year 6, welcome to your literacy video for Monday. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Before we get started on our literacy work for today, I just want to go over your new spellings for this week. So most of you, your spellings are these ones. So you've got the J sound spelt with an S as your rule this week. So for example, you've got television, so it's got a J sound in the middle, but it's spelt with an S. Treasure, usual, measure, division, unusual, pleasure, conclusion, revision, explosion. Okay, so they're your spellings for this week. They are on Edshed and on Letter Join, so make sure you log on and use those at some point. Um, and just remember as well, if there are any words that you're not quite sure of, then make sure you log on to dictionary.com and go and have a look at the definition for those words. So I think we know what most of them mean. So I think we're all, we'll all be fine with one to five. I think we all know what number six means. Number seven, pleasure. I think some of us might know what that means. So if you get pleasure from something, then you enjoy it. Um, so you might do something for pleasure because that's what you enjoy. Um, you could have a look at what conclusion means and revision um, and then I think we all know what explosion means don't we when something explodes um, and just remember to have a think once you've looked at the definition of what that word means have a think about how you would use it in a sentence because it's a little bit pointless learning how to spell a word if you don't know how to use it in a sentence okay so that's your first quick task for today is to have a really good look through this spelling list think do I know how to use all of those in a sentence and if you're not sure log on to dictionary.com have a quick look what it means and then have a go okay your work for today then your learning question is can I use irregular past tense verbs correctly and we're moving on to page 12 in our writing book okay but before we even look at our book I want to go over what irregular past tense verbs are okay so remember a verb is an action word it's a doing word so it's something you can do like sleep eat play run walk they're all things you can do okay now when we change a word to the past tense sometimes we can just add ed so for example for example, if you change walk to the past tense, so today I walk to the shop, yesterday I walked to the shop, and all I've had to do to that word is add ed, okay? But irregular past tense verbs is when we can't just add ed, we've got to change the word. So this is a big bugbear of mine that I end up correcting all the time. Catch, we can't just add ed, okay? So it can't be this because that's not a word, okay? Catch isn't a word. So then that means that it's an irregular past tense verb because we'd have to change it to court. Draw my G on properly. Yeah. So your work today is when we're looking at irregular past tense verbs. So they're not not going to, you're not going to be able to just add ed. You've got to look at the word. If I was you I'd say it out loud. Think about would I say that word? Does that word make sense? No have a think what it should be. Okay, so I've got a little activity for us to have a go at together before you get started on your work for today. Okay, so we have got lots of things on my board and we've got the present tense and we've got to have a go at changing them to the past tense and then it will reveal a picture behind. So let's have a look. So the first one, so just now I am sleeping. Yesterday I, well, it's not slept, is it? So today I sleep. Yesterday I 
slept. Okay, so yesterday I slept. Let's have a look at that part of the picture. Oh, it's just black. Let's see what it's going to be. Just now I am teaching. Okay, so today I teach you something. Yesterday I taught you something. So that's very similar to catch and caught, isn't it? So I taught, okay. Oh, just still quite a dark picture. We'll have to see what's behind. Just now, I am driving. So we don't say drived. We would say drove. Yesterday, I drove. Okay. Just now, I am flying. We wouldn't say flied. We'd say flew. Okay. This one then. Just now, I am swimming. So today, I swim. Yesterday, I swam. Okay. So we've got what looks like a little bit of a rainbow starting here. Let's see what's going to be on this row. Just now, I am drinking. Yesterday, I... We don't say drinked. And if you say it out loud, it doesn't really make sense, does it? Have a think. What would you say? I drank. It would be, wouldn't it? Okay, oh, we've got a little bit of a line here. I wonder what that's going to be. Just now I am eating. So you, today you eat. Yesterday I ate. So today I eat my lunch. Yesterday I ate my lunch. Okay, just now I am writing. So we don't say righted. We would say wrote. Oh. Just now, I am creeping. So, if you creep, so the present tense is creep. Yesterday, it would be crept. Okay. Just now, I am buying. So, I am buying a loaf of bread. Yesterday, it wouldn't be buyed. Yesterday, I buyed a loaf of bread. That doesn't make sense. So, it would be yesterday, I bought a loaf of bread. Okay. Oh, so we've got... Bit more of a rainbow, looks like a bit of a mountain. Let's see what it's going to be. Just now I am catching. So this is one that we've already gone over. We know that this one is caught. Yesterday I caught. Just now I am learning. So I have, today I am learning. Do we say learned? We say learned. So I learned something new yesterday, for example. Just now I am growing, so I am growing a plant. Yesterday I grew a vegetable, yeah? Just now I am hearing, so hearing is the present. We don't say heard, and it's quite hard to say, so that shows that it's not normal. It's not the usual word we say, we'd say heard. Yesterday I heard a song. Just now I am paying. Okay, so if you're paying for something, and that would turn to paid. So we have kind of added D, but we've got rid of the Y and we've added an I. We changed it to P A I D. Okay, so you paid for something. Oh, we've got some trees now. Let's have a look what's going to be on this bottom row. So just now I am saying something. Yesterday I said something. Okay. Just now I am sitting. Yesterday I, we don't say sitted, we say sat. Okay. Just now I am singing. We don't say singed, we say sang. Just now I am spending. So if that one, if we just added ED, it'd be spended. Okay. But it's not, it would be spent. Yesterday I spent all of my money. And then the last one is just now I am winning. Yesterday I won the competition. Okay, so do we get the idea? So think about the word, think about how needy. Does that sound right? No, have a think what it should be. Have a think what you would say because you use these kinds of words all the time without even realizing. Okay, so. Let's have a look then. Before you get started on your work for today, 
I have got a little challenge for you to do in your purple or red book. In your exercise book, so applying what we've just done together, I want you to write this sentence out and change it so that it, so that it's in the past tense. So the present tense is she sees. I want you to change this. So I want you to write out yesterday she. So what would it be? So today she sees something. Yesterday, so for example, today I see sunshine. Yesterday I something rain. What would it be? What would you change it to? You wouldn't say yesterday I see rain. What would you change it to? So you write that one out. Okay, another one for you. Yesterday, so today she falls. Yesterday she something. What would that one be? Okay, so you write that one out and have a go for me. Okay, your next one. Today he runs. So what would he do yesterday? So today he runs, yesterday he something. Okay, your next one. Today she hides, yesterday she something. That's quite a tricky one, but it can't be hided, can it? That doesn't make sense. So what do you think you could say? What would make sense in that one? And remember, say it out loud, and that will help you to figure out if it makes sense. Have a go, try your best. Okay, another one for you. So he reads. So today, this one's a little bit of a trick. Okay, so think carefully about this one. Today he reads, yesterday he something. So if you think about yesterday he something with his teacher, what would that be? Yesterday he with his teacher. Have a think. Okay. And then I pop this one in at the end because this is one that I know we all really, really struggle with, and we're all in quite a habit of saying catched. So I want to try and get you out of that habit. So this one is catches. So today he catches, yesterday he. So we've gone over this one already, so you should know that one. And then just remember all of your sentences need a full stop at the end, don't they? Okay, so you've got six sentences to have a go at. Write them in your book. Remember to take a quick picture of them when you send your work in for today. Okay, so that's your first task, your first independent task for today. Then, once you've done that, you're going to go and have a look at the work in your book. So you're going to turn to page 12 and you're doing this bottom section today. Okay, so where there's a picture of the girl on the horse, that's the section you're going to have a go at today. I'm just going to go over something on the board that will help you. When you're going, when you're doing the work in your book today. So, your section then is sentences, and you've got to fill in the missing word. Okay, and they're written like this. So it says, so mine says, yesterday I to give my friend a present. Okay, now that sounds a bit strange, but to fill in this bit of this gap in my sentence, I've got to use the bit in brackets. Okay. So it's to do with the verb to give, okay? So I've got to change that into the past tense. So yesterday, I, I know the past tense of give is gave. Okay, so I'm going to pop it in and then I'm going to check it works, okay? So yesterday, I gave my friend a present. Yes, that makes sense. And gave is the past tense of to give, okay? Have a look at the next one. She, to be very thankful, and hugged me. Now, I've used this one because you've got this one in your text today, and I think it's quite tricky, so I wanted to go over it for you. So, she, to be, something very thankful, okay? So, that would be, like, today she is very thankful. What would it be yesterday? So, it would be was. Okay, now that's quite hard, that's quite tricky. So she was very thankful and hugged me, but it makes sense, so I know it's right. Okay, the last one then. Then I to have to say goodbye because it's to be time to go home. I've just gone over to be, so I know that one's was. 
okay? And then this one, to have, okay? So today I have something, yesterday I had. Make sure you use a D for had, okay? So then I had to say goodbye because it was time to go home. And my sentence makes sense, okay? So your task for today then, your main task is to fill in this section in your book. So read your sentence really, really carefully. The first one's already done for you. So the first one you've got to do says we to arrive something a bit late. So I to have to hurry to get to the first event. Remember, this has all got to be in the past tense. So arrive isn't actually an irregular past tense verb. You can just add ed to that one. So, it, well, you've just got to add a d, haven't you? Because it already ends in, in e. So arrived, we arrived a bit late. So I have a think what the past tense of have is. We've just gone over it on the page before. Have a think what that would be. So go through, read, read it all really carefully. And then when you've finished, make sure you go back to the beginning, read it through and make sure it makes sense. If I was you, I'd read it out loud so that you can hear whether the words make sense or not. Okay, so that's all of your work for today. So I want you to do those first six sentences first, change them to the past tense. Remember your capital letters and full stops. And then it's this section in your books. Okay, so good luck with all of your literacy work for today. I'm sure you'll all do absolutely brilliantly if you all try your best. And I will see you all tomorrow.